Well, good evening, Katie and Karen. Yeah, whether they're commercial or charter fishermen, they tell me they're hurting and they want something done. And I'm blessed to have 60 years at it. St. Bernard Parish is a fisherman hotspot. It's a culture and a heritage. You know, my father did it, my grandfather did it. Uh, it it's all we know. A once thriving industry, though, has progressively suffered. For me, I'm old, you know, but the younger generation. That's what I'm concerned about. Especially this year with the double opening of the Bonnie Carey spillway. We're getting it from all angles. You know, we're seeing dead dolphins, we're seeing, you know, dead oysters. We're seeing, uh, you know, 65% drop in shrimp production, 45% drop in our crab production. And, uh, you know, these fishermen just can't take this kind of lick. Concern has spread to parish leaders. We need money today. Our guys are trying to pay bills today. Who on Tuesday announced enough's enough and help is needed. Right now, there is already an authorization in Congress of $150 million for these type of disasters. I think we're going to need more than that. Getting money could take time, and while time many believe is running out. My two sons want to be in this, this business, and it's, it's really bleak. These fishermen say they'll do what they can to try and keep the industry alive. The mood's depressed. I, I mean, we're all, you know, these guys have bounced back from, from BPO spill, they bounced back from Katrina. They've adapted. This is a tough thing to adapt to. Now, leaders understand the purpose of the spillway, and they say they truly appreciate it. But with the frequency at which it's opening, they're also asking that another way be found uh, to help drain the rising water of the river. Reporting live, Jay Cunningham, Eyewitness News.